Miriam to about as a basic. He was a very skilled individual who was written to be the desire to understand his client's song. To tell us how to face the constructions of many buildings on either the three past weeks, the first, 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 Thank you. 
brothers and sisters. We are about to begin the second part of the funeral service, celebrating the life of Peter Daniel Victor. On the truth of our parish priest and the entire church of the Assumption will pray. I would like to extend sincere condolences to the family, extended family and friends of Peter Daniel Victor. And to all who are following us, worship the Lord. Let me say to the family, when we certain circumstances in the right, that we don't understand and we don't have the answer, rest assured in knowing that God is present and He has promised never to leave us, not to save us. Be still and know that God. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Praise be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Father of mercy, and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all of our affliction, and does enable us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from you. Sisters, we will now join the choir in singing our entrance in Walk with me, O oh my God.
Confident that God always remembers the good we have done and forgives our sins, let us pray, asking God to gather Peter to Himself. Lord Jesus, our Redeemer, you will really give yourself up to death so that all might be saved and pass from death to life. We humbly ask you to comfort your servants in the grief and to receive Peter into the arms of your mercy. You alone are the only one, you are mercy itself. By dying you unlock the gates of life for those who believe in you. Forgive Peter his sin and grant him a place of happiness, life and peace in the kingdom of your glory forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. I would now like to call upon the two readers. Please come up. Church, we are now going to listen to the first reading, and it is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 6 to 9. The Lord will destroy death forever. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all people a banquet of rich On this mountain, he will remove the morning veil covering all people and the shroud and wrap in all nations. He will destroy them forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his sleep everywhere on him. For the Lord of my senses, that day it will be said. This is our Lord, in whom we hope for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hope. We exalt and we rejoice that He has saved us. The word of the Lord. Church, in response to the first reading, we will all join the choir in singing as the dear pandemic.
to the gospel reading. Please let us all stand for the proclamation of the gospel and let us join the choir in singing Alleluia. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am, so that they may always see the glory you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, for the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known you, and these have known that you have and these have known that you have sent me. I have made your name known to them and will continue to make it known so that the love which, with which you love me may be in them 
and so that I may be in them. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise Let me extend on behalf of the parish community to the family of Peter our sincere condolences and to assure you of our prayerful support as you go through the difficulty of laying a friend, a father, a brother, an uncle to rest. You know, one of the beautiful things of the Catholic Church is that every day we celebrate Mass, we celebrate Mass both for the living and for the dead. Every time we celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. So when I come and say, we remember you in prayer, we are truly remembering the family, the persons who have died, and the family in prayer. Because the Catholic Church is not a fly-by-night church. We don't wake up and say, this morning, I feel like doing this, and that's what we'll do. We have structure. And every time we celebrate Mass, if as a priest I celebrate Mass, three Masses for the day, at every of those Masses, we pray for both the living and the dead. This afternoon, you have two beautiful readings, those who chose the readings. The first reading, which speaks on this holy mountain, the Lord will destroy them forever. And the second reading from the New Testament, which speaks of nothing can come between us and the love of God made visible in Jesus Christ. The Gospel, however, speaks, Jesus is saying, I want them to be with me where I am. And we can only be with Jesus where he is if the Lord has destroyed death forever. If we allow nothing to come between us and the love of God made visibly in Jesus Christ. Now sometimes people come to funerals and they're not even prepared to listen. Because coming to funerals have been part of their life, second nature. But every time we come to a funeral, we need to look at our own selves because Yoju and we are to make the necessary preparations for that day because if we do not make the necessary preparation then the Lord cannot destroy death forever because we have not allowed things we have allowed things to come between us and the love of God made between Jesus Christ you see because God loved us so much God made us for himself and for himself alone and that is why when we sin, when we, when, we, when we went astray, he sent his only son to show us the extent of the Father's love. Not to die on the cross, but to show us the extent of the Father's love. And because Jesus is so obedient to God, he took him to the cross and he did not run away. And what did he say? Let your will be done, not my will. So if we are to be with God forever, because Jesus wants us to be with him, Jesus wants us to be with God forever, we are to do the things that can help us to be with God forever. Not true? Yes, not true? Yeah, that's what it is. And sometimes it is doing the things we would prefer not to do as men and women. It is doing the things that makes us uncomfortable. It is doing the things that our friends will give us jokes. Why do you think the church does not have so many men going to church? It's just a similar mess. So long more. And it's little boys who think that way. I don't care who you are. Because when it comes to God and your relationship with God, nothing, absolutely nothing, should come between you and the love of God that is in Jesus Christ. Absolutely nothing. And it is just as bad for the people who come to church and they treat others badly. The people who come to church and they gossip about each other. The people who come to church and they have hatred in their heart. They go into hell. 
The people who come to church and feel like I got the bomb and can't be yours. They go into hell. I got to show you my sentence. A lot of them are in to stop. I show you your phone like this Catholic and you got left and it's a dummy like I got left. That is wrong. That is wrong. And people tell me, Father, you might be cool. Let them come for me. Let them send me their account to say one more. Yes, send me their account to say one more. But we cannot be in church and we are, we, we are treating our brothers and sisters badly. We cannot be in church and we are showing people two faces. We cannot be in church and we are hating people. We cannot be in church and we are encouraging jealousy, envy, hatred. That is not right. God does not like ugly. God does not like ugly. And whatever ugly we do on the face of the earth, you must pay for it if you do not repent of your sin. You must pay. I don't care who you are. Priest, bishop, man, you don't talk to people pay for it. Once you do not repent of your sin, you must pay for it. We cannot come, we cannot be hypocritical with God. We can't. In as much as Jesus wanting us to be wherever he is, we must do the work so that we can inherit that kingdom of God. We must do the work so that where Jesus is, where he has gone to prepare a place for us, there we will be also. We must do the work to allow nothing, nothing negative to come between us and the love of God made visible in Jesus Christ. A shiny zone. A shiny zone. Let me get a ballet. Tout a ballet. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. A shiny zone. I can't believe this. And now people tell me, Father, we have a lot of healing to do it to pray. Don't come to me. Healing zone. Come in one minute. Because I said, support your path. Do it with pride and dignity. Do not let politics come between you. Because the day after election, you will have to live with the people around you. I told you all. I told you all. Now the country, so far, all over Sepulcha, is divided. It's like a touch matter in Uta just point me to Yon La Yon La Yon La. Is that what we do as a civilized people? Is that what we do as Christians? Is that how we behave as Christians? We put Christianity on a side. We do our back and up. And now we're talking about healing. Who will start the healing? Who will start the healing? I am ready to assist, but it's not solely my job. It's not solely my job. All the persons who continue to divide and sow seeds of division in this country have to put their hands in the mud and get it to heal back that country. And as Christians, we need to know better. Christians need to behave better in situations like that. Christians need to behave better. So we are here today to lay the mortal remains of Peter to rest. How many of you are prepared to die this afternoon? How many of you are prepared to lay down in this box this afternoon? How many of you are prepared to meet our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ right there, right now? How many of you? Christianity is a way of life. And every day we live is supposed to be a better day than yesterday. Every day we live is a day closer to our grave because we do not know how long we have. We do not know how long we have, and every day we live is one day closer to that grave. Whether you want to believe it or you don't want to believe it, that does not change the price of butter. That does not change the price, the fact that every day you live, you are living one day closer to your death. 
But how are you making the preparations for that day? How are you living for that day? You know, sometimes when I listen to people and you listen to their logic, no wonder people hearing what they want when I preach. Because the people who are in the mess, you can take the people who are in the mess, you will turn the people who are in the mess, and you will have to change the people who are in the mess. Yes, yes, yes. Pour 4 ans, moi j'ai fait ce qui est là. 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 Et j'ai fait ce qui est là. Your life is not a joke. That's not a joke. We should be... We, 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 we can do better than that. We can do better than that. We should be more loving. We should be more forgiving. We should be more readily available to embrace each other. That is what the Christian life is about. And not one Sunday I have come here or in Fort Jack and I do I have moon, I do pack out on the moon, I do I shall buy me. That is not what I have been saying over the last four and a half years. I have always said, love one another, love unconditionally, forgive one another, be kind to one another. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? But when you look around, what do you see? What, what do you see? And some of us who should know, some of us who should know better, we are involved in the division, the hatred, the gossip, the lack of forgiveness that goes around in Sufre. Something I will never understand. Sufre has the, 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 the most sophisticated gossip circle. Jean Sufre is a PhD in Malpani. It's true. And that is not of God. That can never be of God. That can never be of God. How are you preparing to meet our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? How are you preparing for your own death? Jesus says, nothing can come between us and the love of God made visible in Jesus Christ. That's what we are told. St. Paul told us that, sorry. Nothing can come between us and the love of God made visible in Jesus Christ. St. Paul is it? But when we hate, when we gossip, when we do not forgive, when we are arrogant, these things come between us and the love of God made visible in Jesus Christ. These things are destroying the body of Christ. St. Paul says, we are all members of that body of Christ. And no one part cannot say they did not be the other part. Everybody is important. Everybody. But you know that the, the problem is we do not see each other as brothers and sisters. We do not see each other as being a man and woman or woman made the image and likeness of Jesus Christ. We don't see others like that. Because if we were to see people that way, we would respect them. We would love them. South Pavlin call Pavlin Diamond Moon. But to us, so far, Sanu Pavlin Pukonu says Sanu Pavlin Diamond Moon. And that is not right. That is not right. That is not right. You know, I always say I'm never surprised when I'm treated badly in this parish. I'm not surprised. Because if y'all are treating your own people badly, Pagote, Kima Nyoka Ikwete Mwen, Jean Van And that says a lot. That says a lot. And many of you do not make an effort to do better. That, that is what hurts me. Many of you do not make an effort to do better. You are so comfortable in your way of life. You are so comfortable in the muck. You are so comfortable in the mud that when you are challenged to do better, you attack the messenger. Sisters and brothers, the Lord loves all of you. Not one more than the other. Ipapa pa do toa, 
a good pedal to our body, say, Papa, do it. And he wants us to be with him forever and ever for all eternity. But do you want to be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Do you want to be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? And if you desire to be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, then you have to work for it. It will not happen overnight. It will not be given to you on a platter. You have to work for it. You have to be forgiving. You have to be humble. You have to be gentle. You have to make way. Get rid of jealousy. Get rid of envy. Get rid of hatred. And to replace these things with the fruits of the Spirit. Love, kindness, gentleness, self-control, and so on. Sisters and brothers, today is Peter's turn. Tomorrow may be the turn of any one of us. God is calling us to himself. Will you answer? Do you desire to change your life? Do you desire to become a better person so that you may live with the Lord forever and ever? The choice is always yours. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Stand and offer our prayers to God. Those with prayers, please come forward. And after each prayer, we shall pray, Lord, graciously hear us. Family members with repeating prayers, please come up. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead, and he sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for us, his church. Confident that God hears the voice of the world those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to you.
Lord hear us. In baptism, Peter received the light of Christ. Oh, sorry. Prayer for the youth. Jesus Christ, our brother and Savior. Please open the minds of the youth to acknowledge you as the greatest role model. Teach us to be loving, kind, committed, and focused on following the will of our Heavenly Father. We ask that you reside in our hearts so that we are always ready and willing to make a positive difference in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. In baptism, Peter received the light of Christ, scatter the darkness now, and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, hear us. Our brother Peter was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome me in the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, hear us. Lord, God, giver of peace and healer of souls. Hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sin in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Brothers and sisters, we are now going to pick up a collection. Please sit. And we will all join the choir in singing our collection hymn one day at a time. Brothers and sisters, this collection will go towards the upkeep of our cemetery. Thank you. I just want to share something. When we come to further and a collection is taken for the upkeep of the cemetery. That collection goes to cleaning and maintaining and paying the people who work at the cemetery. Over the last year or so, persons have not been putting money in collection for the cemetery, for the upkeep of the cemetery. But the people are saying all kinds of things, including putting derogatory statement on Facebook how the cemetery is good. If you are not putting money in the collection, when you come for funeral for the upkeep of the cemetery, I do not know where the parish will get the money to pay for the upkeep of the cemetery. And you know, that, that, that is very serious. And the thing is that these Catholics who call themselves Catholics who go and say all kinds of things and who go and put all kinds of things on Facebook how the cemetery is dirty. If you do not put money in the collection, we will have to find another way to source money to pay for cleaning the cemetery. That is no two ways about it. But I would prefer if somebody has an issue with the cemetery, don't want to put it on Facebook, come and speak to myself or other people. It's not an actual row row. You're like too much row row. So when we come at the funeral and we say the, the collection is for the upkeep of the cemetery, it's for cleaning the cemetery. When you collect $30 and $40 at a funeral, how can that be in the cemetery? The man charges me $25 per square. Your machine blow, then you ask me to $25 per square. Later, you don't know how to pay me $60. And I ask him, but how long do I do this pay me? You know? We need to take responsibility for what is ours. Let me ask you just to put it. We have some kind of thing. You guys will need to do everything you want to say to me. You guys will have to say to me. You guys will have to say to me. You guys will have to say to me. That is your symmetry. And if we love the people we say that are the symmetry, we will take greater care of the symmetry. But many of you are hypocrites. 
Ils ont fait les 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 les
precious Lord. But we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Peter again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will dispose in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, as Father gives the blessing, we will all join the choir in singing, My Life is in Your Hands.
kingdom, let us offer our prayers to Him. Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, 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 Saints of God, come to his day, listen to me too, in terms of the Lord. May Christ to call you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Eternal grace come down to him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Peter, your servant. In the sight of this world, he is now dead. In your sight, may he live forever. Forgive whatever sins he committed through you, my goodness. And in your goodness, grant him everlasting peace. We ask this in Christ our Lord. Peter, may the angel lead you to paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy seat when you are eternal children. Peter, may the choir of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham. And when Lazarus is followed on the may you find eternal rest. Brothers and sisters, we have come to the end of the funeral service, celebrating the life of Peter Daniel Victor. In this moment of loss and grief, let me say to the family and extended family and friends and those who are following us virtually that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Savior. Remember that God's love is stronger than death. The family members would like, of Peter Daniel Victor would like to say a special thank you to everyone in attendance this afternoon for sharing their grief and to all those who supported them in one way or another. Thank you, thank you, everyone. At this time, brothers and sisters, Father, we lead the procession to the entrance, followed by family members and friends. Please remember to keep the topping level down while Father gave the final blessing. And remember to take all of the personal belongings with you. And it is very important to follow all protocols, especially the social distancing. We are now going to reflect with the words of the song across the bridge. Thank you very much for having me as your animator this afternoon.
Going to the church, the cemetery people. Excuse me. Open. Put it on my seat. Just hold the light, hold it straight. It's still light. Eh? Yeah, yeah.
ali, ó. Depuis, il y a bonne spade, même pour bonne côté la caille, bonne côté ou avec bonne spade.
Tesla Mini dashboard in front of the windshield. Brand. Unlock the vehicle back. Just open the door. Bring with you.
Something fall off easy.
Bye, people, whoever watching. It was nice having you. Goodbye. That's the end of the live. Thank you very much for watching.